So apparently Intel is releasing their 9th gen desktop grade consumer processors within next month, which is August at the time of making this video. So we're going to discuss what we know and we're also going to discuss what kind of thoughts and concerns I have on this matter. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JD from JD Tech here and welcome back to the channel where we discuss PC patch, reviews, guides, mods, and more. So if you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing and checking out the rest of the channel. SCD Key is the web platform to purchase official Microsoft Office and Windows keys, game keys for Steam, Origin, and Uplay, and Xbox and PSN prepaid cards. You can purchase Windows 10 Pro keys at a very deep discount and further that discount with my code JDG for an additional 10% off. This is perfect for people on a tight budget for their PC or to anyone that needs the key features of Windows 10 Pro. You can also pick up Microsoft Office 2016 on the cheap and use my code to get an extra 3% off. With that kind of price, that's definitely something I wish I had back in college. If you're interested in saving yourself some money with SCD key, check out the links in the description below. So the website I'm pulling this article from is from TechRadar. There's a couple other websites that have already posted articles on this matter. The source of information is coming from some random German website that does not have a track record of being false or true to any of their statements so this is going to be taken with some sort of grain of salt as mentioned in the article itself so apparently this is releasing next month this is going to be all the entire 9th gen processors from intel which is supposed to be a coffee lake refresh we're going to have the same architecture but with slightly higher clock speeds now this could be really good or really bad considering on what we're given here not only is there going to be the same amount of processors here like the i3 900 and 9100 9400 and all the way up to 9700k but we also have a new processor the i9 9900k which is going to be an 8 core 16 thread processor which is really interesting to see but this is easily probably going to be over $400 or something like that. Now this seems all fine and dandy, but is Intel going to price gouge its market again by not supplying enough CPUs and have them always sold out and at prices way above MSRP, especially for that eight core 16 thread count processor. Now that doesn't seem right and it doesn't seem fair. And if they do that twice in a row, that's going to speak massively on what they think of the CPU market. Now we're not gonna talk economics here primarily, but it's something to consider because what happened last time was really not acceptable, especially since it offered a lot of new value options coming from Intel, which is something I primarily don't associate them with. Another concern of mine is what kind of motherboards are we dealing with here? Are we gonna have a Z470 platform? And if we do, is there gonna be compatibility with the Z370 platform or B360 or H310 or any of those motherboards and chipsets, which just recently came out like a month or two ago? So those are some of my concerns as far as motherboards and price gouging goes those are my two main concerns and also what the pricing is going to be like besides the fact of price gouging those are my primary concerns i want to hear what's yours and let me know down in the comments below so we can continue this conversation all right so if you guys are new here and you want to see more videos like this one consider checking out the rest of the channel and subscribing and if you want to grab yourself some pc art like this over here or some new merch that just launched like this consider checking out my store in the description below or in the card over here or in one of the end screens at the end of this video. Also catch me on Twitch where I go live and talk about PCs, any sort of PC questions that you have and occasionally play games, which is really just like a podcast, but with the people in chat. So I'm pretty interactive and it's kind of a lot of fun, honestly. So if you guys want to join me on there, I'm at JD Tech here on twitch.tv. So make sure to check that out as well. Thank you guys all for watching and I'll catch y'all in the next one.